Arizona Hat Homestead. My name is Jeff. Today's video, I'm going to talk about this water tote behind me. Some of you were asking some questions about water and, and what do I do for water. Well, so this video is kind of more so just talking a little bit about water here off grid. Rain harvesting is the overall plan, although that's not fully hooked up yet. So I've done two things so far. So one of the options that I look at is a guy that I purchased it from. He brings a, uh, a truck over with holds about 750 gallons and with a gas pump, he pumps it in in my water tank, my large water tank. I also take this water tote, which is 330 gallons, and there's a nearby well that I can go to and I can buy water from them. And that one's the cheaper route to go. And then with my gas pump, I can pump the water into my water tote. So let's look at that, that or not the water tote, but my water tank. So let me show you the water tank real quick here. So with that water tank, this 330 gallons, that's 5,000 gallons. Obviously it takes a lot. So let's just take a look at this here and how I'm hauling water. So this trailer, is got it off of Craigslist. The whole thing was a 200, 250 bucks, something like that. I think it was 250. It's a handmade trailer, obviously. Handles the tote with no problem. In fact, the guy who used this trailer before me had a tote in it and he did construction. So he would bring that water with him to a construction site and everyone could hose off or get some drinking water mainly just hose off because it was in the phoenix arizona area and you know during the summer months there it's like 120 degrees so doing construction work there having some water just to rinse off is kind of nice so so you have this and on this guy here let me just show you the trailer a little bit this back piece here comes off which makes it easy to put a toad in there or something else however though there is not a an actual way to latch this in place so I just strap it down and to strap it down I'm using a strap here crosses over and then another one like say and it crosses over On the bottom, I don't know how well it's going to show on the bottom. He just used OSB on this. Let's take a look at the bottom to see if I can show you the bottom here. So as you can see, it's just a, uh, a framework. And then he just put that OSB on the framework. So I should replace that OSB here pretty soon, but right now it's holding up just fine. I got a spare tire for it. This guy here is kind of nice. This is really nice in the sense that, that because the ground is so uneven here, I can make sure that I put enough blocks on there and I can jack this up so that when I'm pumping water out of here, I can take this whole tank and I can put it a little bit out of a slope so that helps me get every last drop. He says it's rated at 2,500 pounds, which I hope so because 330 gallons times, what, roughly eight gallons, a little bit more than eight gallons per, or eight pounds per gallon of water. I think it's like, what, 8.4 or something like that? So times 330, so that's 2,500. So, and it's holding it just fine. Now I've got some straps around the uh, tank itself. That's just because if I got straps around, it helps hold it in place, uh, helps keep it from moving around if it were to. 
especially if I got water in here slushing around and then it's you know I don't want it to be in a small trailer I don't want something to happen and so I figure better safe than sorry if you will now in the front here I took two of them and then I split them up so one's going over there one's over there if you will I also grabbed strapped one around here just because again I, I'd hate to be on the road and these things here are just aluminum and they you know I don't know exactly how they're put together it looked like maybe just a spot weld if, or something so with the slushing of the water and the movement of the driving around I just don't want this thing to pop out or something and so I figure again better safe than sorry and what harm is it to put it on there See, I've got one strap on this side and one going over here. And then you may have seen this in one of my other videos. On this here, I put a, uh, a coupler here, it's threaded and then slipped there. Then I have a T. This one here comes out and it goes to just a regular hose spigot. You know, where I could just hook up a hose or I can just, you know, leave this open and I can drain the water out this way if I wanted to. Reason why I did this was options. I just wanted to have some options of uh, being able to to hook up a hose if I wanted to. Then I come out here and then I put in my trusty gator lock as you saw in the uh, in the uh, video about pumping the water. And this guy here I only put this down just to keep this thing here in place. I've got I've got two by four right here that's underneath this thing here. So I didn't want this to bounce around. So as I'm driving around, I didn't want this to bounce and and and, and cause leaks throughout this uh, this plumbing job I did here. So this way. This is holding it down onto that 2x4 basically. I think it's a 2x3. The top, just so you know on the top, climb up here so I can show you the top here. This lid, this lid doesn't screw on very well. So sometimes when you buy these totes, they may or may not have lids, and the lids, for whatever reason, may or may not fit. This one doesn't fit. So I just use a couple of basic bungees here to help hold it in place, and that way, uh, that way it doesn't come off as I'm driving. So, but yeah, it doesn't even screw on right. So yeah, this is my water tote, 330 gallons. And currently, that's how I am supplying water. I filled up my 5,000 gallon water tank, and right now I've just been living off of that. I'm gonna give you guys a video next July, right? July, yeah, July, August, sometime right around there. I think it was the first of August, I started tracking my water. So, I'll give you a really good idea next August, so gee, I guess you'll have to subscribe now to, uh, to catch that one. But basically, I want to see how much water I am using over the course of one full year. Because obviously seasons change, your water usage is going to change, um, things like that. So, and since I am working part time now, I am going, you know, I, I, I go to work five days a week, so I actually do take regular showers and uh, and so I'm using water on a regular basis and so I think this is going to give everyone a pretty good idea on how one person at least on their water consumption and I'm not being conservative with water this first full year that I'm tracking it I'm not being conservative I just want to use the water and then I want to see where I'm at and then I can adjust from there if I feel like it's too much or, or what have you um, but I 
kind of want to see what my usage is. So, so far it all seems to be pretty good. It's, I'm, I'm right around 300-ish gallons per month. So, um, but I also haven't started laundry either with my laundry deal. So I go in town for laundry right now. So when I do my laundry, um, that's going to change things. But that will be for the following year for that usage. So anyhow, but that's for another time. Um, but that's what I do here off grid for water. Three options, the rain, like those clouds there may provide some rain. However, my rain catchment is not fully set up. Have water brought in, that's a little bit more expensive but it can be done. Or I can go get my water, which is the cheapest and easiest way to do it takes more time a little bit more work but it's the most efficient way so far some of you are going to talk about well drilling huh I am over 800 feet to the water table and the estimate was about $22,000 so unless you want to donate $22,000 uh, for my well I will not be having a well I'm going to just do the rain harvesting I can set up a rain harvesting system for a whole lot less than 22,000. So, um, I don't know, that's my water here off grid. That's how it all works. And uh, stay tuned to catch more wonderful videos here off grid with Arizona Hot Homestead. Thank you for watching my video today and I appreciate you watching it all the way through there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Every little bit helps support my channel. My name is Jeff. And you've been watching Arizona Hot Homestead.